good morning. Well, actually it's currently good afternoon, um, but we are heading out to go study at a coffee shop with Alan for the afternoon, um, just to get out of the house a little bit and just, you know, <laughs> so we're gonna go study for the afternoon, like I just said, at a coffee shop. I thought I'd bring you guys along. I thought we'd chat a little bit. So that is what is up right now. That is what's kind of going on today. Yeah. you guys it's obviously much later in the evening but Alan and I ended up studying at the coffee shop till around 6 p.m. and then I got home and I've just been studying here for a little bit took my makeup off already but I thought we'd have a little chill night in and we're gonna have a like giant bubble bath with like a nice lush bath bomb I don't know what it is about winter and just like the cooler months but I love giant bubble baths in the winter no other time I literally hate baths otherwise so we're gonna have like a nice luxe bath, put on some cute pajamas after, and like just have a chill night in. So we're gonna go raid my bath bomb cabinet and uh, see what I have and pick out a bath bomb. All right, this is my little like lotion and bath bomb cabinet. So I have some Lush bath bombs in here. Let me pull it out. Okay, these are the options. I have this little Lush lemon lavender one, or I have these three here. So I'm gonna pick one. I think I'm probably gonna do the lavender one just because I love lavender and it's like sleepy scent. So we're gonna do that one. Maybe the lemon bath bomb wasn't a good idea because the bath water low-key looks like yellowy green, but it's fine. It smells good. It smells like lemon lavender. We love it. Um, I'm still reading City of Bones. I'm determined to finish this before December begins. So I'm just gonna sit and chill and, you know, relax, unwind, and read. guys it's another beautiful day well not really it's kind of gross out today I'm not gonna lie um, but today my mom and I are doing a little early Black Friday shopping we're doing a little Black Thursday shopping but before that I wanted to share some of my faves for 2021 so like a little bit of a 2021 favorites list just like a lot of the products that I absolutely loved this year or like just really really used a lot and so I thought I'd share that with you guys this morning so we are gonna first start off with Later, and today's video is in partnership with Later. I have worked with Later before, and if you guys have been around here for a little bit, you'll know that I use Later to streamline and just like organize my Instagram feed. It's also great for scheduling posts if you want to post at a certain time, but like say you work a nine to five, and you know you can't post at that prime 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. time that you always want to. So Later helps with that. It helps you schedule your posts, helps you create that aesthetic feed and organize your feed, which I absolutely love and literally has helped so much because I love the look of a feed, but it's so hard to plan when like you can't organize it and see it visually with all your posts like far up. So Later really helps with that. 
and they have given me a code for you guys. It's just Vanessa T21 for one month free of the growth plan, which is the plan that I have. Later also lets you see some additional analytics and just management side of Instagram, which I absolutely love. Like I said, if you're really trying to take Instagram more seriously and make it more of a business or you just want to kind of streamline your posts, Later is absolutely amazing for that. And I love that Later is accessible for not only like solo entrepreneurs, but larger businesses. Maybe you have a small business that you want to streamline I think later is absolutely great for that as well and I have absolutely loved using it this year it has been amazing so again big thank you to later for sponsoring today's video and all the links for later will be down in the description box but let's get into some of my other favorites I'm gonna start with some beauty favorites I kind of tried to like minimize this so that my favorites weren't like absolutely ridiculous and crazy like a giant list of things so we'll do beauty clothing some skincare some health stuff and yeah <laughs> so starting off i have four beauty favorites for you guys i have absolutely loved the chanel coco rouge balm this year literally is a lip game changer i would say it's like a lip primer but it's just like a cream moisturizer and i absolutely have loved it definitely I'm going to need to be repurchasing this this year because it is almost gone. I absolutely love the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Now I don't think that they're making it in these cute little squeezable bottles anymore. I think they've kind of changed the packaging and branding for this product, but this is something that I used literally like almost every single day of my makeup routine and I absolutely love it. A newer addition to my makeup routine has been Charlotte Tilbury and I am obsessed with their products so much. So my favorite from all the ones that I've tried, and I have tried a few, has been the Magic Lip Oil. So what I use this for is I am someone who loves a gloss, but sometimes like that matte lipstick or just like a regular lipstick has the color that I want. So you put that on first and then use this kind of as a top layer so that it's like you have that color, but then it's a gloss. I love it. And last we have the YSL Blur Perfector. So I think I mentioned this back at the beginning of October that I have been loving this duo with the current foundation that I'm using. Basically it just helps really smooth and like exactly what it says it does, blur perfect and like mattify your face. Not necessarily mattify, but like make it very, well, like blur perfection, like exactly what it does. But um, yeah, so that has been one of my favorites. Next, I have clothing fave. So, of course, I have my Cerise Dawn hoodie and track pants. Literally have lived in these, and maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I absolutely love them. Literally the best sweat set that I own. So, it's just my Cerise Dawn hoodie and track pants. You guys know by now I absolutely love the color brown for anything clothing, but my favorite pair of brown trousers are these ones from Princess Polly. Literally have worn them so much this fall, love them. I also loved styling little bra tops this year. So two of my favorites are one from Aritzia and one from Skims. So this one from Aritzia I actually got as a matching set. So I have a little pair of biker shorts that match but it's just this little bra sports top in this really light baby blue. And then my other favorite was this one from Skims, and it's just this kind of mauve taupe color, very basic, straight across, but super cute and flattering. And then something of my favorite tops this year is this top from Skims that I absolutely like wore so much. But in general, a favorite of mine for clothing this year has been this cut of top, bodysuit, whatever. It's that high neck, like not high neck, but like mock neck style top. So, but this one from Skims, like I said, I wore so much and I loved just this fitted. I believe I have a few bodysuits in this style from Zara, but I loved this style of top. My next favorite has absolutely been my Revlon brush, especially with my bangs, literally such a go-to and easy style for hair. And then with that, the Gisu, Gisu, I never know how to pronounce this, but the hair, honey infused hair oil, literally I use this every single time I do my hair. It's what's on my hair right now. As someone who naturally has pretty frizzy hair, this just tames all of that and makes it look so super sleek and healthy and it's amazing. Next, I have absolutely loved using my Starbucks water bottle this year. I feel like this is so super basic. I actually got this back at the end of 2019 and I didn't really use it at all in 2020. I just found it inconvenient because of like, like it tips and can leak. 
but being around the house this year I have used this so much I used this so much in the summer literally just because it was so big and so easy and convenient to sip on while I was at home it just made drinking water a game changer I guess and I, I absolutely loved using it. You guys also know that I absolutely love candles and my favorite candle this year has been the boba candle from Sunday Soy. They're actually a small Vancouver based brand um, but I love their candles and the boba one is like brown sugar and it just smells heavenly. Being the tea granny that I am I have two tea favorites for you guys. So the first one is the Lavender Earl Grey from Tea Leaves. I'm honestly obsessed with this. It's perfect for London fogs. And then the second one that I have is the Bloom Matcha Coconut Blend. You guys know I love my matchas as well. And coconut, I don't typically use coconut. You guys know I actually use the Oatly Oat Milk. I guess that's technically another favorite. But I love the taste of coconut. And so I loved that this was not only a matcha, but had coconut in it as well. And then my last kind of health section favorite has been the Teeny Greens powder. Literally game changer for green smoothies. Um, honestly, I still put like spinach and kale and actual other greens in it as well, but this I find just really helps the like thickness, texture, consistency, like everything. And then it's also got all of the good greens in it as well. It's got matcha, spirulina, wheatgrass, um, broccoli, kale, kelp, like, so good. The last category that we're going to do is some skincare favorites. So starting off with a body skincare, it's my Fenty Skin Exfoliator. So it's just like a full body exfoliant. Smells amazing and does the job we love. I also finally found a sunscreen this year that not only doesn't break me out, but just doesn't give that greasy sunscreen texture. And it's the Paula's Choice Extra Care sunscreen. With that, I have absolutely loved the Paula's Choice 8% AHA exfoliant so it's just a gel exfoliant so it's really gentle on your skin but at the same time is a really deep exfoliant because of that AHA. AHA. And my last two favorites are from Coco Kind. So first we have the revitalizing eye cream. I have tried a bunch of eye creams that I never really liked and that never really did anything for me but this one is absolutely amazing. And then I also have loved the texture smoothing cream. It just looks like this. I've been using this as my nighttime cream for the last like almost three months and it's amazing. I tried to narrow it down, but those have been my 2021 faves, but we are actually heading out soon. So I'm going to finish packing up my purse and we're gonna take you guys on my little shopping date with my mom today. Starting off at Nordstrom today, of course. So we're currently at Nordstrom. We are looking for the MLAJ collection because we want to see it in real life, in person. And this is one of the few Nordstroms that it's supposed to be at. So I'm like walking around looking for it right now. Hey you guys, we found the boots that I've been looking for. Same. Except that they're not in cream. They are in this like taupey, green color. Okay, so these are the leather pants. Um, there was only an extra small or large or extra large, so I'm trying on the extra small and they literally fit perfectly. So happy. We're doing a, just a quick stop for lunch, so I just got a salad bowl. But we we did we've done some damage at Zara and um, some Christmas presents that that obviously won't be a surprise. But got some shoes.
practically invented being nonchalant for fun good morning babes happy saturday so after my mom and i went shopping on thursday i actually came home for the weekend just to come and spend time with family because i literally haven't been home since thanksgiving but i went to the gym this morning had a great leg workout and now we're gonna go get my nails done yay literally look how overgrown these guys are okay it's not focusing but they need to get done so we are going to do that this morning um i'm thinking of doing like a little gold outlined tip something like minimal but kind of christmasy because these will be my christmas nails very excited also like my mom set up my bed for christmas i like come home and i'm like it's my little baby bed it's a single but like this makes me wish that i had more christmas sheets and decor at my house i think we also might be doing a little bit of christmas decorating this afternoon here at my parents house which is always fun um i will be decorating my apartment for christmas very soon hopefully <laughs> it's just been a little busy with like last midterms and like starting exam prep oh we're saying we're getting close to exams but that's what's happening this morning so let's go get my nails done also i woke up to snow up here i was really not expecting that and i really hope it didn't snow at home because i'm not ready for the snow yet but we have a little sprinkling of snow out here <laughs> They tear apart all day, just like afternoon croissants Strolling over bridges that were built in renaissance Isn't that what every Roman's loving 20-something woman wants? Midnight in Paris Alright, so we just got the tree out to decorate But Um, yeah, basically a section of the lights are out So we're gonna have to buy a new tree this year but yeah, so no decorating in today's video, unfortunately, but I will be decorating my tree back in my apartment. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen to my tree because I mean, I've only had my tree for three years, so it shouldn't be burnt out. We've had this one for six years and a section is burnt out. So here's another look at my nails. Literally, I'm so obsessed with them. They're perfect for the holiday season. But I'm gonna sign off from my video here because the rest of the day I'm basically just gonna be doing a little bit of homework, some studying, and then we're actually going to my little brother's hockey game tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you to Later for sponsoring this video. All the info will be down in the description box as usual. And yeah, I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video and the rest of this video because I am still vlogging, just I won't be talking for the rest of the video. But thank you guys all so much for watching and I love you all so much.